Hello, everyone, and welcome to our yearly annual uh, Shishi Mai performance here at the Wing Luke Museum. Uh, I would like to first give you an explanation of to some of the origin and purpose, as well as some of the instruments that you, we use in the Shishi Mai performance. Today, we'll be actually performing a story called The Old Man and the Lion Dog, The Taming of a Young Shishi Mai Lion Dog. This story uh, is one that we uh, wrote about uh, five years ago in order to uh, explain and share the tradition of the Shishimai dance and purification ceremony in our festivals. Usually the Shishimai is performed as a blessing for each house in each area and in a particular village. And every year we perform a Shishimai performance here at the Wing Luke Museum. What I would like to do at this time is give you some first the historical background. So Shishimai, the, the Shishimai that we use is from Japan. And that is a style that we use to purify and bless uh, people's homes against uh, plagues and pestilence uh, for the new year. This is usually seen and understood at most traditional temples or shrines in Japan. And you can often witness it in the new year. In the origin of the Shishimai or lion dog, it is actually said that perhaps it came from India, Tibet to China, China to Korea, Korea to Japan. But one of the origins that we find is a story from China concerning a monk having a bad dream about seeing the future about pestilence and sickness in China. He then prayed to the deities and gods to see how he could prevent the misfortunes and be able to offer protection to the people of his, of his country and fight against all evil spirits. Then the monk started working to create the image of a lion, which was seen as something that was strong enough to protect. But because he didn't know how a real lion looks, he combined the most powerful and magical animals he knew. Thus, we are able to see the Chinese lion dog as it appears today. In Japan, they also use the tradition and colors of their origin, their country of origin. The, the lion dance suffered many changes over the years, and the music and the, for the dance itself varied from each country and each culture. However, the lion dog's representation is similar to the Chinese one, with a red wooden head called a shishigashira. So Kane, will you come here? This is the shishigashira. With a body made from a green cloak with white drawings. So as you can see, this is the shishimai. Please come forward. And as we can see, it is red, symbolizing prosperity and gold. Also, it has a teeth and tongue. And the ears are movable. And every year, this mane, for the shishimai is changed according to the tradition to purify. Also, there are bells that are associated with the shishimai that symbolize to scare away evil. And also, we see this green cloak that can sometimes hold two, one to two people in performance of the shishimai performance. Thank you. So simply, the shishimai lion dance performance is done as a community activity. So in Japan, there are many community groups that band together to perform the ceremony for each of the households in their village. And in many cases, many of the village children, in order to pass down their particular style of shishimai performance, is taught to the children at that time. So it is a very important cultural and community, community uh, event that all can participate in purifying and protecting uh, the village and the people of the village in the New Year's. So also at this time, I would like to share with you some of the instruments that we use in this ceremony. One of the main instruments that you may hear but not be able to see is called the horagai. The horagai is actually a, a conch shell uh, that is used by the Yamabushi or Shugenja in Japan. This is meant to symbolize as a spiritual instrument to blow away and repel all evil spirits. The sound of the uh, horagai is that of the lion's roar. That is the sound of the Buddha's teaching. So therefore, as we use the 
Horagai, we are able to dispel and dispatch evil. The next instrument that we use is called an Uchiwa Daiko. This Uchiwa Daiko is particular to our Nichiren Buddhist sect of Nichiren Shu, and Uchiwa means a fan. So this is a very large Uchiwa Daiko. Uh, there are many sizes, and this is used as a spiritual practice, again, with the idea of the drum as a offering to the Buddha. Again, the noise being the instrument to drive away and protect from evil spirits. As you can see, the Uchiwa Daiko is uh, written with the phrase Namu Myo Horen Gekyo, which is the phrase of the Lotus Sutra. You'll hear that today in the performance. This is one of the sutras of the Buddha that is called the Wonderful Dharma of the Lotus Flower Sutra. And Namu means simply to adore or appreciate. Another representation, another instrument that we'll be using is called uh, this is a purification wand that is used in uh, traditional events in order to purify, or as they say, ohrai, or sweep uh, a space or a person of all impurities and uh, sickness. So therefore, we'll be using this as well today. Also per custom, this ofuda, which is actually a talisman, that is hung in the home at the conclusion of the performance in order to protect the home or the building from any disaster or illness. In this particular ofuda is depicted of Kishibojin. Kishibojin is a deity of the Nichiren Buddhist sect and is seen as the devil mother who protects against pestilence and sickness. So at this time, when we perform the ceremony, the Shishimai will then give this to the family and at that time, the old omamori or ofuda from the home are removed, returned to the temple to be burned and purified, and the new one, given by the shishimai, is then hung in the home. In the story of the shishimai and the old man, we have two characters. One is, of course, of the two elements of man and the spiritual realm coming together. So in the story, we have the old man who represents the people of the village. And that old man is one who has experienced and understood life and is therefore very happy and is full of wisdom. And we see the spiritual realm represented by the Shishimai, which is then what the old man, by their interaction and relation together, educates the young lion dog in how to become a protector instead of a immature or uh, rambunctious spiritual animal that can cause sometimes disharmony or disaster, it then becomes a protector. And we can see this through this relationship of the two coming together through the story. So in the story, it's very important to see that what is depicted here is both the village and the spiritual realm coming together in order to fulfill and grow this bond to protect the village in the new year from pestilence and disease. At this time, we will begin the performance of the Shishimai and the Old Man. I hope you are able to enjoy. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. 
Long ago, in a small, tiny village, there lived a young and mischievous lion dog. In a nearby village lived a happy old man that liked to wander in the forest laughing and singing. Lion Dog saw the old man and wished to sneak up on him from behind and scare him just like everyone else. about what he should do to teach the young lion dog so that other people would not fear him. He sat quietly in the forest and meditated. Once he awakened to the thought of the best way to teach the lion dog so that other people would not fear him. <laughs> Thank you. 
Both the old man and the lion dog became great friends, playing and dancing together in the fields. Buddha taught that all beings are able to realize their potential and become awakened in their lives. Even the animals in the forest can become our friends and protectors. One simply needs to be patient and show kindness. At this time, the old man and the lion dog will go to offer a gift of good health and happiness. We will offer a blessing from the lion dog so at home, please slightly bow your head and the lion dog will give you a gentle bite on the head. At this time, we will offer the Omamori Ofuda to the Wing Group Museum. And to all the people at home, please at this time put your hands together and bow forward. And the Shishimai will give you a blessing for the new year. Thank you very much. We at Choezan and Kyoji Nichiren Buddhist Temple, thank you very much for observing and participating in our performance of the Shishimai New Year's Blessing. Thank you very much. <laughs> 